Hey everybody, welcome to another unboxing video here on the WWNT YouTube channel. Pete Carney joining me. Hello. Good friend. Thanks for having me. And he, you, you parent, would you watch News Today? I brought this up, right? Yeah. And you texted me after, you're like, whenever you're going to do the board game, let me know. And I was like, tomorrow, 9 p.m. Let's do it. Here I am. So this is uh, the Vault Collection. Walt Disney World has been part of the 50th anniversary. It's been fantastic. They are just simply remaking old merchandise, which is all you could have asked for. It's all most yeah. people wanted. It's more than enough. This is one of the coolest things they've done. For the Vault Collection, they actually partnered with Milton Bradley to recreate a board game that they sold in 1972. Now, this is not the first time Disney Parks have recreated an old board game. Disneyland's 50th anniversary, you may remember they remade a couple of the old board games. There's the monorail game, a couple other ones. Uh, but Walt Disney World now getting in on the fun, and we're still hoping we're going to get that remake of that Haunted Mansion board game from the 70s. But in the meantime, we have a visit to Walt Disney World, Magic Kingdom Park, a game that's a world of fun. I can't wait. Okay, it is for ages 8 and up. I can be clear that relatively speaking. <laughs> um, the object is to be the first to visit all the places in the Magic Kingdom Park. Obviously, if you buy Lightning Lane with the money in the game, that'll be that'll be the easiest way to win. For fifteen dollars, you win the whole game. Um, yeah, and that's that's all it says. You just eight and up, two to four players, and very simple rules. And we're gonna turn it over. Let's look at the back here. This setup looks cool. This is what I'm excited about. Yeah, this is neat. And obviously, because it's the '70s, everything's cardboard. That's how board games work, even if you're going to do some elaborate board game. Uh, the fun of this new game is twofold. The first is to assemble a toy-like replica of the Magic Kingdom Park, located in the famous Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. Following simple instructions, the park comes to life with its Disney Parks Railroad Station. I don't know why we had to write Disney Parks Railroad Station. <laughs> it's the Magic Kingdom. Um, entrance, the Mad Tea Party attraction, the Haunted Mansion attraction, and the tiny monorail cars that whisk players from one end of the park to the other. Uh, the contents include one Magic Kingdom Park replica game board, 40 attraction tickets, six characters with four stands, because um, I guess only four up to four people can play anyway, um, one spinner with arrow, one haunted disc, three monorails, four game board walls, one haunted mansion attraction, one mad tea party attraction, including teacups with plastic button. It's very important. One Disney Parks castle. Again, Disney Parks castle. Why? Why? It's Cinderella Castle. This is Magic Kingdom. Also, the monorail does not take you from the front to the back of the park. That's, you know, <laughs> Disneyland goes into the park. Not here, but again, it's just a board game, right? Um, there's going to be a lot of inaccuracies. Yeah, kind of we'll have some fun with it. There's going to be a lot of inaccuracies. Uh, one Disney Parks railroad station, one tray. One tray build up and game rules and assembly instructions. There you go. Okay, so I think it's time. Let's get into we it. We gotta open it. We're gonna say, oh, uh, here we go. I don't wanna damage the box. No, 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 give me that. Come on, take the corner. Yeah, there you go. I don't wanna damage this beautiful box. As all New Yorkers do, we open everything with keys. That's right. Okay, I got it. I'm gonna get it. Maybe I did. <clears throat> Yeah, there, cool. there you go. There we go. The box even looks kind of old. The finish on the box makes it kind of old. It looks like something you would find, like, at this point now with the plastic, out of, like, a garage sale. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a replica of a real 1972 board game. Pretty rare board game with that. There's even some... Actually, they put some aging on the box, funny enough. You want the game rules and I'll start setting up? Sure. I do really like that old, old yeah. typeface on there. Okay, look at look at this. Look at these. These, these are, are cool. Amazing. Yeah, the and colors are all perfect. Two sided as well. I wonder if they had to. Re I assume they had to remake the art, um, which if they did, whoever did this did an amazing job. This is, it's beautiful. It's vibrant. It does look like it's from the seventies. A one fold um, board. As I wonder, maybe they were able to find the art and scan it, or. Uh, yeah, in most like cases, classic. we found out with the Vault Collection, they were not able to do that, though. Many things had to be remade. There's the map of the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. How accurate is it? We're going to find out. Oh, oh my God. <clears throat> There's a lot to do. These are the we assembly <laughs> These are It's like Ikea in 1972. Uh, oh, I mean, it's just like Ikea. Everything's made of cardboard. <laughs> so, it's, it's all... Wow, this is... Uh, this is somewhat complicated. 
I mean, if we're gonna do it like New Yorkers, we won't read the instructions. But uh, so it is the box, and we sell. It is the box that's the bag. Yeah. Right? Yeah, box tray. So take the. You want no, not the front. You want to take the. Yeah, that end. So that's that's the back of our board. We take the game board. We have a lot slide of popping. It, slide it in yeah, the back. Hold it well, there. I guess you want to put that. That. We in. have the walls. We have these. We gotta figure the stuff out here. Well, give me the give me the wall. Let's let's start with the wall. So the wall. Oh, uh, look at that. So I'm guessing the cave with the water coming out of it is supposed to be 20,000 leagues under the sea. And on the left, we have what's probably the Hall of Presidents building, I would assume. Um, we're gonna These punch. are going to go in there. There you go. We have to punch out some holes. Well, no, this slides in. See these tabs? Well, you, gotta, you still got to punch oh, okay. the tabs in a little bit, right? What's going to take longer, the game or setting the game up? I don't know. We're fine. Put up the clock. <laughs> so okay, so this is really thin. So these other things are that thicker carpet. I think these are because these are going to be props on the board, and that these slide the in the background. The backdrop. Disney Parks Castle. Again, it's mind-boggling that they can't just write Cinderella Castle. It's clearly Cinderella Castle. Obviously, I mean, come on. That's Cinderella Castle. I feel like we need nice, like, setting up music in the background. I mean, that'll put be in post-production, yeah. just not there in real life. Do you, do you. Time lapse this? Yeah, kind of. I'm sure they will. Yeah. We're walking past, now that I see uh, Huey, Dewey, Louie here, we were walking past the carnival games at the boardwalk yesterday. Yeah. And uh, the girls, this whole family's playing the game where you gotta throw the ball and knock the stuff down. Yeah. Anyway, they were terrible at it, but he's like, I'll give you extra throws if you want to solve some, do some Disney trivia. They're like, yeah, sure. So he's like, we'll start easy. For an extra ball, who were the three nephews from DuckTales? And like the whole family knew it, but immediately the, this woman yells out, Huey, Dewey, and Stewie. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was great. Do you know the names of the nieces? That's usually the one at Disney trivia where I jump in. I don't think I know that. The nieces are uh, April, May, and June. Ah, that's cool. That's April, a nice little May, and June. That's the one that you piece of trivia. Uh, it comes up in a lot of Disney resort trivia. And I'm always like, April, May, and June. They're like, how'd you know that? It's like, everyone asks. It. Yep. What do you want me to work on now? I, I've assembled uh, do you have the, the you want to just, I don't want to bend these yet, but I have the walls ready for the left and right side. So there's a perforation if you want to set up the sidewalls. Do they just break off of this, I'm guessing? I think they fold so you could tuck it underneath the board, is my guess. Does it fold? Because there's only one way to fold it. So like, see how this like, there's like this. So this says. Oh, yep. Yeah. Left so side stand, wall. Yeah. So my yeah, guess so would be. Stand, yep. Yeah. I mean, obviously the contemporary goes on this side. That's accurate. There's some accuracy here. Here's more walls. That I'm, I'm guessing. Like a plastic thing for them? <clears throat> yeah, I'm guessing like this would. Oh no, they because you, know, you got to do this. Yeah. yeah. Where do you find this in the parks? The vault in the vault store at Disney Springs. They wouldn't sell out fast either. A couple days after he posted, I was in there. Um, my family was visiting, and I was like, "Oh look, they still have." My father tried to buy it from me. I was like, "No, someone already picked it up." Like, oh, do you uh, remember what they were going for? Um, we have it on the site, and they can show you now. There it is. I think it was thirty nine ninety nine. I don't Sounds remember. Sounds about right. I wasn't there to buy it, so I don't remember. Yes, the Disney Parks Railroad Station. <laughs> the railroad station to all the Disney parks in the world. You know who you want to be in the game out of the six characters. I'll put the other ones to the Ooh. side. So we have, so we got Mickey. We got Minnie. You have Donald and Daisy. And then you have Goofy and Pluto. You know who I want to be. I don't know who you want to be. Come on, out of all those characters, who do you think I would be? Donald? No, Goofy, you maniac. Oh. Donald. Only because I have webbed toes. I get it. Taking a shot. <laughs> that was the joke I was going for. <laughs> Disney Parks Railroad Station rear support. Do you find sometimes that your rear needs support? <laughs> well, get yourself a Disney Parks train station rear support. Um, all right. Would you like instructions to, to follow? <laughs> <laughs> sure. For that device, it looks Nancy actually kind of complicated. Base. The Haunted Mansion attraction looks very complicated. This one, I know, starts by going up, but it's definitely other things are involved. Yeah, there's a top. Here, do you want to look at the instructions? Go ahead. Well, there's also the Mad Tea this Party and the, the Haunted top. Mansion. All right, so here, you, you, which one do you want? Here, give me the mansion. I'll do the mansion. All right, there you go. This is the top. Let me see those instructions. I think you just put this over the top. <laughs>
Just like at a real Disney park, there's all sorts of punch outs happening. <laughs> Sometimes between guests. <laughs> the Haunted Mansion goes on Main Street for some reason. You gotta put it somewhere. This also looks nothing like the Haunted Mansion, by the way. This is not what the Haunted Mansion has ever looked like in any park. Closest to the New Orleans Square. All right, here's the ramp, though. The Haunted Mansion attraction ramp assembly. It has a ramp? Yeah. For what? Assembly. <laughs> Why does it need a ramp? It's ADA how you, compliant. How do you get How do you get in? Yeah, of course. I don't it's know what these like pieces do. Does it sit on this? Oh, it is. I don't know why they call it a ramp. It's it's yeah, the roof. I think it's, does it tuck in the other side? Oh. No, because they have the edges up like that. That doesn't look right. I mean, it's 1972. All right. Maybe. Um, where's the box? It's right there. No, I need the back to see if it looks right. Oh. Nope, it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just fold this. So where does this, what do you need a ramp for? Does it go like up to the house? The instructions mm -hmm. are not very clear on it either. I'm not sure what we're doing with these. I want to build this, but... I'm so confused by this ramp thing. I don't think we need this ramp. I'm gonna All right, we're doing it without the, the ramp? Side. The house is assembled <clears throat> otherwise. I'm going to put the house in place. You want to do the monorails? Sure. <laughs> That, that seems to function. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at the teacups. Having a good time. All right. And then this goes tucked under the board over there? Or? Oh, no. It goes. It has like a spot. A little yeah. cutout? Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's not aligned is what we're figuring out now because that needs to be yeah. yeah. I think these are supposed to like this tuck into the back of the board a little bit. Like no, because then they don't line up. Well, okay. what color do you want to be? Blue. Donald, Donald wears Donald blue. Donald wears blue. blue. Very yeah. nice. I'll go red like my face. But here's the Magic Kingdom. We now have, we now have a Magic Kingdom park. This is the board. This is what it looks like. Um, Mostly accurate, actually. Yeah, it looks like all the stuff that was there around opening day. There was not an ice cream station, though. There was an ice cream parlor, but... I uh, see a monorail spin. All right, we got to learn how to play now. So we yeah, got to go over the go. instructions. All right, here we go. Game rules. The fun of this new game is to... Well, that's we read that. That was on the back of the box. Playing in the Wonderland that you have assembled gives you an added touch of realism. Ooh. You may feel you are actually there. <laughs> <laughs> Players are given tickets for each one of the Magic Kingdom Park's best known attractions, plus tickets for the monorail, which help to speed the tour of the park. The fun is to be the first player to spend all your tickets and win the game. The board. There are spots on the board that can affect your play. Special attention should be given to the following rules governing these areas. A, monorail stations. In each corner of the park are monorail stations. These can be shortcuts from one part of the park to another. A player arriving at a monorail station must spin the dial pointing to the monorail section before they can board the monorail. Once a player has done this, slide the monorail car to the station at the far end of that line. If it is already at that station, it may be returned to the player station and player proceeds from there. You must pay a monorail ticket to the common discard pile after the ride is complete. These tickets cannot be used again. Haunted Mansion Attraction. The Haunted Mansion Attraction is placed in any position on the area at the start of the game and cannot be changed during the game. Red spots on the path are haunted. When a player lands on these spots, they will take the Haunted Mansion disc and drop it through the hole in the roof, holding their hand a few inches above... We need the... We need the... We need this. This has to be inside the house in order to... Yeah. The, the piece has to come out one side. All right, you have to, you have to figure that out. Okay. 
holding their hand a few inches above the house top. The spot nearest to where the disc rolls will be the new spot from which the player will continue to move. Refreshment areas. When a player lands on the same space as another player, they may move the player's pawn to any refreshment area in the park. That player must continue their play from that new area. However, they must continue to go to the same place shown in their ticket. At the Mad Tea Party attraction, a player arriving at the Mad Tea Party attraction entrance must, ha must board this ride. The player spins the spinner and moves... Uh, moves the Mad Tea Party attraction the same count. In order for a player to leave the Mad Tea Party, their spin must land them on the entrance or exit space by exact count. The player then pays their ticket common to common discard pile and draws a new one from the pile and proceeds to a new location. To start, each player will take all the tickets matching the color they have chosen for their pawn. Remove the three monorail tickets to keep them apart from the others. The remaining tickets will be shuffled and placed face down in a pile on the table. Pete is still assembling the haunted mansion. Looks good. Looks good. We're getting there. We've officially installed the ramp, and I'm guessing this is the token. So yeah, you just drop it in. Whoop! There it she is. All side, right. Yeah. That is, that is never going to function. How bizarre! Each player will take all the tickets matching their color. So I need all the red or blue. Sorry, I'm blue. Forgot. And then we got to pull the monorail ones out. You said? Yeah, that's what it says. Then you have like land ones. There's Tomorrowland area. You have Tomorrowland area. And specific area. attractions. So I have. Mad Tea Party. I'm guessing Winter we're different. Land, yeah. Liberty Square. I guess Mad Tea Party acts as Fantasyland, I guess. Well, no, because I, I have two Fantasylands. Do you? I gu I'm guessing we have different ones because I have 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, two Fantasylands, an Adventureland, a Frontierland, a Mad Tea Party, and a Liberty Square. Oh, yeah. Mine are all mine are different. Okay. Weird. So we don't need the other colors, I guess, because if we're all different, like these attractions, no, we're never going to use. No, you finish your cards. Okay. Yeah, everyone's different. They're random. All players will start at the entrance of the Magic Kingdom. Highest spin goes first. Others will follow and turn clockwise. We're already there. We're at the. You can't see it really. I put us. But we're there. there. Yeah. It's behind a bunch of cardboard. Okay, we have to spin to see who goes. Uh, first. <laughs> all right, we have to shuffle these up, though, right? Or no? Do we? I. Didn't they say something about shuffling once? Oh, yeah. The no, the remaining tickets. Oh. Remove the three monorail tickets keep them apart from the others. The remaining tickets will be shoveled and placed face down in a pile on the table. Okay, so the monorail tickets are separate, but I don't know what we're doing with those. Yeah. And then these are ours. So these two I'm shuffling up. Also, these are the tiniest tickets. Shuffling yeah. is... I'm already very confused this game <laughs> this shouldn't be this complicated it's a 72 board game no i think they mean our cards i think they mean these okay so, so these are so shuffled and them. those get are shuffled get okay. rid of those your own you're gonna shuffle your own cards all right and then put them face down because you only go to one destination at a time all right we gotta spin we gotta spin the wheel i'll let you do the honors i got a five Six, you go first. I reign supreme. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be the worst. <laughs> um, you then draw, each player will draw the top ticket from their pile. This will tell them where they should go. All right. Are we revealing it to each other or is this a secret? Yeah, it'll be a secret. Okay. Mad Tea Party. Frontierland. Okay. A player will spin and move towards that spot. The number space is shown on the spinner. So spin your spin. Here we go. I got a three. So I'm really no strategy here, right? Um, you just want to get one, there. two, three. But I'm on a red dot. Does a red dot matter from a gray dot? Isn't that the haunted thing? Um, red spots on the path are haunted. When a player lands on one of these spots, they will take the haunted disc and drop it through the hole in the roof, holding their hand a few inches above the house top. The spot nearest to where the disc rolls will be the new spot for which the player will continue to move. So do I get to angle this like which way I want it to be? I don't know. I'll just keep it the way this Place way. in any position. You can place okay. in any position so you'd like. I will do this. No, I'm right where I'm standing. You can move one then. All right. Boop. Yeah. All right. I need the wheel. Oh. Let's just probably should just keep it in the middle. Keep it there. Yeah. Is that one? Yeah, it's a one. One. I guess. I guess there I am. All right. And then this just continues. Yeah, we'll figure out when we get to somewhere what that means. All right. Three. One, two, three. 
You skipped one. No, I was here, right? Yeah. One, two, three. You, it, oh, there's a black connect. line. Yeah. I didn't see it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't see the black line. It's like, I thought three, it was like you could just pick your one, own, two, create your own three. adventure. <laughs> oh, that's the. See, is that a full spin? I oh, went around God. like twice. Eight. Tom's already cheating. You know. What is the is the orange a space? Is that the entrance of the mad? I think it's party? a space. I think that is the entrance. The oranges because it's Florida. They're oranges. That's right. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that's the I entrance. Guess, wait, I guess I'll go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Monster turn. Monster turn. I'm up by the Grand Circuit, uh, the, the Grand Prix race. Is that a six or a three? I'll let you be the judge. I think it's a six. It's like right. on the six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay. Where are you going, Frontierland? I gotta go all the way back here. Yeah. Is it just Frontierland attraction? Oh yeah, Frontierland area is an attraction. Yeah. Like they didn't know what the rides, what rides are gonna be done. <laughs> five. One, two, three. Look at that. All right, I guess I'm here. All right, let's see what happens when you arrive. Player will spin a move. They must abide by all the rules and advantages that are described under the board. Um, when a player reaches the area indicated on their ticket, they deposit this ticket in a common discard pile and draw a new ticket. But something happens at Mad Tea Party, right? I have to do something. Yeah, you have here. to put your um, when your cup stops here. The pay player your spins ticket and move the spinner on. and moves the Mad Tea Party attraction the same count. In order for a player to leave the Mad Tea Party attraction, their spin must land them on the entrance exit space by exact count. Player must then pay their ticket to common discard pile and draw a new one from the pile. So drawing a new one from the pile means this is probably the shuffle ticket. No, right? my ticket. I have them. Oh, okay. Um, so spin the tea party. I think you have to. It has to land up with blue. Of you getting on the ride. Yeah, because there's a little arrow right here. So it's got to land right there. Are we sure about that? Reread it because it says when it says when your cup. Player stops here. Spins the spinner and moves the mad tea party. Oh, I have to get in it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He has to get in the ride, and then so he has to end up at the entrance exit. Where is the entrance exit? Right the there ride? where you just got on. I just that lined red, it up. So it's that red section there? Yeah. Okay. We'll just say if it's a majority, you know? I don't think... <laughs> I don't think it go count, in, right? I don't think you have to put it in, but... I think he has to be on the ride. How are you going to spin it without him falling out? You're right. Okay, let's do it with that. <laughs> I thought it was cute, but that is, that I is think cute. that is the intention, because there's space. Or it there, says right? the exact amount, like, do you just move it like, I don't know, it spins, but do you spin this? Because they said the exact count. Yeah, I don't know. So I maybe you do get in, like this, right? And then you spin, and then that would be oh, like, I have one, to get out. two, yeah, you three. Got it. Yeah. Okay, we're idiots. <laughs> I don't have the directions. I'm just trying it's to interpret been, what you I wrote. Just, it's not. It's not the clearest. <laughs> that would have been clear to be like, "Hey, get in and then spin the spin the yeah. game dial until you land on the number of space." Yeah, it's not. All right. Super clear. Great spin. Is that eight. eight or four? Uh, eight. Four. Nine. Eight. Yeah, look, color. Look. So I mean, it goes like that. All right. One, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> Four, spoiler alert, five, uh, six, seven, eight, spoiler alert, I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, jeez. Okay, so now I, can, now I can discard this, and I take my next card. All right, great turn, great Frontierland turn. Frontierland area, now you, now you go. Eight, thank goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm in. Do I do anything? Because there's no activities here. I just get No, this card. one you just put the, put the card discard, and then go to your next one. Fantasyland. Okay. All right. All right. There's a Fantasyland area that's not Mad Tea Party. Oh, up there, yeah. Okay. But cool. I guess you'd have to go to the top. The orange is kind of hidden, but yeah, it's kind of under the castle. I mean, again, '70s board game. Six. Where am I going, Frontierland? You're over by me. Yeah. Six. Six. Wait, I have, I have a question. <laughs> all right, so I can't get to the monorail. monorail. Yeah, I, well, I can't, right? Because I'd, I'd have to go all the way up here. Yeah, and then so there's, there's three make sense separate right now. lines. Yeah. Right? One, two, three, four, five. What does the ice cream mean? I don't know if I want to do this or not. I don't know. Let's see if there's something for the ice cream. Ice cream with a number. Th no, these are all the instructions. This one page. 
Because there's numbers on these. The refreshment stand is two, the oh, ice cream is three, those and this are, is one. Those are refreshment areas. You can move anyone to any refreshment area. So the ice cream are refreshment areas. So I get to move you anywhere I want? No. That's if we land on the same space as someone, then you can move them to one of those. Uh, they have no effect as you roll through the board. Gotcha. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Why are there monorail on there? That's what I'm. That's what I was curious about. They were definitely doing something not 100. In each right corner here. of the park are monorail stations. These could be shortcuts. Player arriving at a monorail station must spin the dial, point at monorail. It's like, oh, that's to see if you can ride. The oh, monorail. okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I'm there. Fantasyland. Yeah. Oh yeah, Fantasyland. Yes. You got Fantasyland again. Yep. So I think you have to go around and come back. What? I don't think you could just stay there and get it again. All right, I'll do a lap. But what would happen if, let's say, I had two frontier lands? There's no place to go around. You would just leave and go back in. I guess at least two turns it would take. You'd have to go one direction and come back. Yeah. You because know? a few of these are dead ends, so you would just leave and then go back in. If the same location is drawn, they must leave and re-enter the space on another turn. Okay. So next turn you have to leave, and then the next, next turn, turn you go back. Go back. Yeah. yeah. So I'm hoping to roll low on the next one, and then high after that. Seven is the number. Seven? Yeah, seven. See, I can't go that way. There's an arrow. No, but there's also an arrow this way. One away. One away. I don't think we're going to end up using the monorail. It seems like a way. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. At least it's a circle. That works to your yeah. advantage. It's still six back either way. One. That's all I need. There it is. All right, I'm gonna discard my Frontierland card. Where are you headed? We're tied up. Mad Tea Party. Three. One, two, three. Eight. It's a good, good spin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, buddy. Four ball, corner pocket, we're in there. One, two, three, four. Fantasyland. Here we go. Adventureland. I got a hike. Yeah, it's, it's way yeah. back there. I got a hike. Two. Eight. Alright. One, one, two, three, four. Uh. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this monorail, I don't understand why you would go. The monorail's not a great advantage. And there's not a, there's oh, a chance wait. you won't even, it won't even work either. Cause let's just say I'm here, right? But let's say I came out on whatever that was. Yeah. I had an eight. One, two, three. I could have gone four, five, six, seven, there. eight a here and then take this down Honestly, to here. Honestly, Liberty Square is real close. So if you had Liberty Square area, that would, you might, and, and then you pulled Adventure Land. Yeah, I guess so. Not really. I don't see a real advantage to them. None of them are real close to really actually Adventureland yeah, to Tomorrowland. You gotta ride three lines to get to this side. I, I mean if you were in Adventureland, you maybe want to go here, take it all the way over to go to Tomorrowland. That's a lot of space in Tomorrowland. That's the only one that maybe makes sense. I don't know. Or did I just roll I rolled the six, right? You distracted me. Yeah. Close. Six. Ooh, red token. Oh, do your mansion thing. You two, well, I have a question. The, turn the house whichever way you want. But you have to do it, right? It's yeah, not an option? You have to. All right, so I'm just but hoping to stay turn, where I am. They do let you turn the house any direction you want. I just want to stay where I am. I know, and otherwise you're going to go out the other way. That's pretty cute. How oh, you got to go that way, still. So right. You got to stay. All right. All right, we're at the Mad Tea Party. I'm getting in. Go for a ride. You gotta spin. Well, let me get rid of that. Now let's spin. Well, isn't it spin to get rid of it? Is it? Yeah, because I mean, you gotta get off the ride. It doesn't matter. I'm stuck in there anyway. It's, That's true. It doesn't matter at all. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm stuck in this thing. <laughs> oh, one. Boo. Let me out. Is that a two? Yep. 
Look at you. That would let me out. Look at you. Very good, I can discard this. What's the new one? Liberty Square. Okay, okay. I'll just keep going back and forth. Come on with these ones. Three. I guess this way. Yep. I'm doing laps. Four. All right, we're in there. Adventureland. Now we're headed to Liberty Square. Ooh, it's a race. Seven? Yep, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess it was a longer way to go. I should have went the other way. Around the bottom of the circle. Six. One, two, three, four. So this is where the monorail might come in handy. Right? So let's say one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm only two away, and I could go this way. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty close. Now, does this have to be in the right station? It doesn't have to be, right? Let's just say you could, yeah, you could get it. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Well, coming in just in time. Must be 1972. <laughs> Five. Five. All right, so you're at the monorail. So and let's I, let's. So now is this where I spin and I have to get yellow? Uh, player arriving at monorail says you must spin the dial pointing to the monorail section before they can board the monorail. All right. Come on! Yeah! Okay. All right, so give up your monorail ticket. <laughs> Don't ride on top of the monorail, kid. <laughs> monorail ticket turned in. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, I think it's my turn. Six. That oh, looks good. All right. Every square. I am off to Tomorrowland. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I have a bad draw. How many cards do you have left? Three? Sam. How many do you have? Three. Three. Yeah. Come on. Oof, that cost you big time. <sighs> Come on, eight. Three. Three. Oh, these twos. They're still not there. No. Nope. That goof. So, hypothetically, because let's just establish this now, if you were in Liberty Square and let's say I got, I was able to come out and land there, that would have been the same spot as you. So I would have got to put you on any where I wanted. Uh, I mean, any of these, one, two, or three. I suppose, yo. I mean, it would have been to your benefit anyway. But anyway, I'm again, there. this is one of those games where, like, it was 1972. The rules are vague. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of areas for interpretation. Like when people play Uno. If you read the instructions to Uno, there's only one way to play. All right, here we go. We're but no one likes the real Uno rules, right? That is I, my true. favorite that. was, you ever see the Twitter argument that no. I had with the official Uno account where everyone's like, and eventually someone just tweeted, just you just sell us the cards and we'll take it from there. <laughs> my favorite thing ever. Everyone plays different, and that's fine. You gotta find out what the house rules are. That's great. That's like Monopoly. Do you put do you put any money on free parking? We do. Yeah. You made it over there, there quick. Some lucky, some lucky spins. I got a long way to go. I'm going 20,000 leagues under the sea. That's not that far. The four? Is it? Oh, that's a four. Come on. Give me a You break. moved it. I didn't move it. <laughs> you moved. I'll give you the four. Fine. I did not move it. People in the overhead video saw what happened. I wanted to play back. Uh, Jake fell asleep hours. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't Sorry, know we made here. him film a cardboard board game. <laughs> of course, he filmed. It took us 35 minutes to explain the game and set it up. <laughs> like, what'd you do at work? We filmed two guys yeah. play a cardboard board game <laughs> from the 70s. From 1972. Five. Five. They're in there. All right, Tomorrowland. Man. Tomorrowland. I'm off to Tomorrowland. Oh, you gotta leave and come back. I have to leave and come back. All right. yeah. Five. Fiver. One, two, 
Where am I going that way? Three, four, five. Six. You get a six, seven, or an eight, right? Yeah, well, that's true. I forgot it's above six in this game. <laughs> Get crushed. Oof. All right, knocking on heaven's door. Five. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. Definitely All good. right. Good Down to my last card. You're on your last card? This is it. You Mad. Were ahead, then. Tea party. Oh, come on. But I have to get out. So you might get lucky. I have it's to do the so exact close. spaces. Yeah. There is chance. This is unfair. I didn't know you were ahead. I thought we were tied. We were, but then I just got that one. We were tied when we were going into Liberty Square. Powerful. That's yes. good for a six. Doesn't matter because I need. But you're in your last card now, right? I am. Yeah. It's a race that you're close. It's frontier land. If I have to get off the ride, I think that's gonna be the real yeah, maybe. turkey part here. Six. Six. One, two, three. You're four, already in. Four, five. No. No, one away. But what is. You see how this splits off this way? What is this? No, that's her leg. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that's definitely her leg. Yeah. I thought it was like a pretty. They really messed that up. That's her leg. Eight. Five. Five's not bad. All right, I'm in there. Now I gotta get off. <laughs> All right, come on, four. <sighs> All right. Now I need that eight. Oh, come on. All right, I gotta get a two or a six. Otherwise, Where you're still good. They're headed to Frontierland. It's the same thing. It's just it's, it's even. I should go up. Okay. Yeah. Come on, two or six. A one. Oh. oh. I'm gonna be sick. A one. This is this is the worst. <laughs> Come on. It's a game of attrition. Six, oh. One, two, oh. Three, four, five, six. All right, now I need a three. Oh, I did it again. Oh, geez. This is the worst spot because, like, it's a three or eight. eight. Oh, I'm in, now I'm in trouble. Frontierland, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm in big trouble. Because I, mean, I don't have a right second now. option. I only need a three, but there's no bigger option number. It's like... Let's go! <laughs> Hear the music! Wait, is it over? You have to get back to the... You have to exit the park. Hold on. But you have to exit the park. I don't know. You have the old, the almighty instructions. No, use all your... Yeah! <laughs> you know... And we'll keep on... It was a cute game. That's like that's it though. Yeah. Cute, right? Like as a display piece, this is really neat. Like, if you is. had a big enough shelf to just put this out, this is really cool. The box also makes a statement, right? The box. The is, box is cool. That will look good on any shelf. The box as a display piece yeah. alone is really cool. Like this is great art. This makes a statement. I like the how the monorails kind of like slide down. That's cute. I wish there was more gimmicks. Like this is just a nice thing to have. And this little uh, thing, like we didn't again, get it was a small souvenir in 1972, yeah. right? It was just this cute little board game. Bring home. I know it wasn't going to be complicated, right? Like it, 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 it can't be family friendly. It's a cardboard 1972 yeah. board game, right? Um, and this is what they all kind of were. They're all these like race to get somewhere things, right? But in the end, I mean, it's super cool. I mean, all these vintage cards and the cardboard and everything looks like it's right from 1972. This is one of the coolest pieces of the Vault collection. It may not be the most fun board game you're ever going to play, but it's a really cool looking board game. So, like I said, this is something if you saw it like at a garage sale, you'd be like, "That's got to be worth a ton of money." This, yeah. you know, it looks. And really they're cool. never in this shape. Right? No. So, I think you should buy it. I think it's really cool. It's something fun. It's a good gift for someone. 
Um, it, again, it not, is the, cool. not the most fun board game, but nonetheless a cool collector's yeah. piece. I'm sure we can make up our own rules too one day. Yeah. It's available <laughs> now at Walt Disney World at, at the vault, at least as of recording, just at the Vault Collection Store at Disney Springs, which is in the Marketplace Co-op. Um, and I assume soon it'll be all over property.